Greetings, it's Janine Palmer, Spirit Silver Moon for Harmony Energy Healing and Divine Heretic Poetic Tales. I'm just going to do a poetry reading today from this book, which is the volume 16 of the main work of the first series. So just a short little poetry reading of a few poems. This poem is entitled United. A very noble title, whether or not we seize the throne. Through our authentic power or dishonesty, every being must atone. Locked away in forgotten towers, or whisked away secretly in the night. What roles do we choose to act out, however dark or light? Daughters of certain loyalty, choosing love or titles fair. And what do we contribute to humanity with our own individual flair? Characteristics born through experience, however our truth is applied, by how we learn to free ourselves, by what is unlearned and untied. Battles of interpretation, except that certain truths are withheld, and what are our creations, by what we mold or what we weld. What is wrought through authenticity? What is created through religion's veil? What shadows trip us along our path? To what falsehoods are we nailed? Just something for reflection. This one's called Rainy Days, Rooks, and Hidden Doors. Let's journey to a magical realm, to a place with fascinating books. Let's celebrate every rainy day and play hide and seek with rooks. Let's heal around the campfire by what we're willing to release. Let's take our sacred power back from the ghosts of knaves and thieves. Let's love each other and ourselves in ways we forgot before. Let's light a candle for humanity and discover hidden doors. Let's honor deep conversation and honesty like an, an elixir so grand. Let's weave flowers into our hair as we reach for each other's hands. Um, there's two here. I think I'll read both of them. This one's called Drifting. She drifted in a knowing, wondering where she belonged, in a realm seeming unsettled beyond right and wrong. Searching for something or so she thought, a depth of love she never forgot, coming back to center through her own grace, redirected by faith in her own mistakes. Being in gratitude for blessings bestowed as magic from creativity continued to flow. Doing the best with resources at hand, letting go of burdens, and stronger she stands. Honoring others however it feels right. And a door to a beautiful blessing through gratitude so bright. The next poem is called Phases. The phases of transcription, however they feel right direct and redirect us into and out of plate. The phases of transformation, a personal, a personal accord, pathways light and dark, whatever we afford. Phases of creation and of destruction too, as fragments of truth filter in and out of the essence known as you. The phase of ideologies as opinions endeavor to speak, all the while we are working to remember the truth of love we seek. The love that's always in us, but somehow now disguised. And the terrible way we are all manipulated by so many types of lies. The phases of unknown alchemy, that which we transform through life. When we learn to make more effective tools from crooked, wayward knives. And the last one I'll read for this reading is um, called Half Moon. She's the essence of rose petals on the pathway. She's the essence of fresh mint in her tea. She's the essence of the herbs in the garden. She's the essence of love always free. She's the essence of true compassion ushered in with a welcome spring rain. She's the essence of love being remembered as it flows from divinity unrestrained. She's is the love of the feminine that honors the masculine here. She is the sacred linen cloth offered to dry your tears. She is the words you long to say to yourself as you ascend. She is the bridge 
he wove to build, and the staff bore wounds to mend. She is the mother and the sister. She is the daughter and the wife. She is the other half of the spark of what we know or forgot is life. And that's it for this reading. Thank you for listening.